Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to win every single resource base on your map. Let's get started. So first of all, like I said before, you're going to need warriors. And second of all, guys, this isn't going to work 100% of the time. I did not mean to hit attack, but meant to scout. This will not work 100% of the time. Um, you need to look at the uh, health, HP health on the building. And if it has over 100,000 or over, let's just say like 75% uh, resource health or base health HP, then you probably won't be able to do it. But I found that I could pretty much defeat all of them with a uh, super boost. So we're just going to do a couple boosts here. You're going to need your gumbo energy boosted. You're going to need damage and you're going to need your health. And I can't talk. Why can I not talk? And anyway, so we will go on and show you how to beat some resource bases. So we're just going to find a few new opponents. This guy has no HP boost, so this is perfect. Um, you're also going to need some critters. I'm not sure if I mentioned that beforehand. Now me... I'm not a big resource re resource building person, like resource base person. If you guys know me, I like never, never, never attack resource bases. Like the only time I do is in videos or streams showing you guys how to beat them. And I found this strategy a very long time ago. Um, and I guess I never really made a video about it. I kind of talked about it on some other videos, but never really made a full one. So... Um, on this base, it wasn't such a big deal. I didn't quite need to focus um, because it was kind of like a weird base design. So we are just going to drop some shocks. We do not need to be using the special tip I have for you guys because this guy literally has no, like, no DPS or nothing because, well, he put it in the corner. Not a smart move for you, man. You want the HQ to be in range of every single other building. So we're going to take this guy and we are going to move it. We're going to move it over here like here and then actually can we not okay we can't do that anymore you used to be able to edit it like resource based mode uh, but i that was like a glitch and i think they patched it so it kind of stinks i'm just tossing stuff i don't care if i lose it again because resource is not the biggest thing in the world for me um we kind of need to focus because if he tries doing a flank here then that is a big deal but there we go we will be jumping on to the next guy we're just finding new opponents just to get more active people because I don't care if they take them back. That's something you normally would want to do. So now this is the base where I'm going to have to focus. First look at the health. Health is good, not over 75% or, or, or 100. I usually do 100. Um, the HQ looks like HQ 21. A pretty high amount of HP. So this is how you're going to beat it. You're going to hit attack. And good, he's not online. And you're going to find the HQ and go down to the center point. So this is the center point. That's not, not, don't think of the math term. Um, but you're going to drop your smoke, smoke. You're going to drop your flare. Then you're going to drop your warriors. And when you get up there, you're going to drop your smoke. Now you need to be super careful with this landing. I could have did that with a lot less energy. And if you guys can do that, do it. Now, it's very important that you place that smoke, the second to last smoke, and the last smoke at the same time. Or pretty much at the exact same time. Um, you want to drop that smoke a little before. And then when it's about to wear off, you drop that. I just did a fail shock, which kind of stinks. But then you're going to just drop a bunch of shocks. And did I shock my own troops? I believe I did shock my own troops. Okay. It wasn't nasty. You'd think with that type of base, I would lose a lot more. But I didn't. I messed up a tiny little bit. So basically, you didn't drop a smoke here. Then drop a smoke there. Drop critters on this, this the second to last smoke. And then when the smoke wears off, all of these buildings from this point all the way down all these buildings will be focused on the critters till all shoot at the critters and since you have boosted up damage your warriors will take it out before all of these buildings all these defenses redirect to your main clump of hq troops and all of these troops up here all these buildings you place your shocks on so basically anything under the hq you they will be distracted by the critters and everything over the HQ, you'll use shocks. There's a lot of echo noise. I am super sorry about that. Um, so you're going to drop every... So basically on this base, it was a shock here, a shock here. I could have placed a shock back here, but I didn't need to. And then just drop med kits. That's all it takes. And then all these buildings will be distracted. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible, but I am kind of repeating myself. So we are just going to retrain these troops and jump back into another resource base. We're going to scout this guy. A lot of resource base leaders have a lot of HP on their buildings. So you just kind of have to watch that. So we're going to find HQ, go down. This guy has a pretty good anti-warrior base because 
you can see that the buildings are a little distorted and that uh, kind of messes up the warrior path so that was actually really really bad landing <laughs> um i'm just a really sloppy warrior user i haven't really used them a lot so now you're just gonna flare and it was a tiny little delay between the two that's something you normally don't want to do but i'll show you what to do if it does happen um so yeah we're just beating these people with like the minimal uh the minimal casualties so we're dropping our med kits and we'll be able to clean this guy out um so yes all these buildings distracted then you're dropping your shocks on the upper half and that is another victory for us by only losing one troop even though we kind of messed up on the landing and it was kind of a fail so we're gonna do one more attack to give you guys kind of a grasp of this strategy you guys could use tanks or something but i just find that this is the best the best troop to defeat resource bases every single resource resource base you could literally defeat every resource base uh we are going to find a really bad one and then we'll be back okay guys so i found one and i kind of had to wait for the background mute sounds to die but it's still kind of loud anyway this base looks bad, right? It it does. It really does. This guy has a over 75%. Uh, half would be about 6,200-ish. I, I, yeah, no. 6,650 6, health is half. And that's a little over half. So it's like 60% health, which isn't that bad. I would say if it's not 100, you could do it with critters. If you don't have critters, then maybe it might be a little harder. Um, but yes, we're going to find the down point. It's going to be all the way down here to that. You're kidding me, right? Ah, okay. We're going to find a new opponent. Usually these bases, if you find a new one, that's really rare. That opponent is online. Okay, whatever. This one even looks harder, but not as much HP. So we should be good here. So go to here. Go down to this point where you want to land, which is the mortar. Drop your smokes and land your warriors. Um, go look up Savage Warrior. He definitely has a, a ways to land on these types of beaches. I'm pretty sure. So, I kind of messed up there. That's not something you want to do. Uh, fled to something right before the HQ. You just want to go from the point here to the HQ. That is unless it's like really distorted the base or something like that. But um, we're just going to wait until the, it's about to wear off. You don't really need to have the smoke. Evan, you're going to drop your shocks. And our warriors will just be hooked on, and we will be able to wreck this base. The damage and health, I mean, the damage and the gumbo energy are very important. Gumbo energy is probably the most important than damage and health. Um, so, boost in that order if you don't have that much energy. I would say do that, but we got 11 warriors lost, which isn't that bad at all. And we beat that base. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. How to beat every single resource base 100% of the time if it's under 100%. Now, I'm not saying you can't beat 100%. I have definitely beaten 100% before. But if you don't have a boost going, it's going to be really hard to do. And just be very careful. Be conscious of what you're doing. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.